Hi, I'm Buddy Price, and today I'm going to tie for you a gold ribbed hare's ear nymph. This is a simple fly to tie. It's a very effective fly, and it's a good first fly to tie and to learn to tie with. It uses just a very few materials and teaches you a good few basic techniques. Really only has two or three materials. The key material is a hare's mask or a rabbit mask. Here you can see I've got a half mask that I'm going to be using to tie today. But unlike what it says, it doesn't really use the ears. It uses some of the face hair, both the guard and the under fur for tying the fly. In addition, you have a uh, gold wire, hence the gold rib, and uses a uh, turkey t uh, tail feather as the um, wing case. So uh, that a hook and some thread and you're ready to go. It's a very effective fly. You can tie it any number of sizes. Uh, primarily known for trout, it can also be used for brim and other small species. The, um, it's a very buggy looking fly. So let's tie a gold ribbed Here's your nymph. The hook we'll be using today is a Mustad 3906B. This is a 1XL nymph hook. I like the slightly longer length. It gives me a little more room to tie on, and I like the overall look of the fly when it finishes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie some lead on. You can use a round lead. I prefer to use what they call a sticky back lead. It's a lead foil. I'll uh, cut a little bit with a pair of scissors, cut a thin strip, and We'll tie that on first. One of the things I like about this is that it gives me a little bit flatter profile and I can actually make a more nymph-like body which is a little taller in the front than in the back. I'll pop that loose there. Wrap that around. You can see I'm just giving even wraps. What I've done is you'll, when I get this profile completed, you'll see it's a little thicker at the front than it is at the back. should have a little bit of a carrot shape when I'm all said and done. Use your fingernails and your fingers to get all that down. The thread I'm using is a Unithread 6 aught. I'm using a tan color. It sort of matches the color of the fly. We'll go ahead and tie that in. And we'll use that to kind of smooth the lead out a little bit. Put that on. So we'll use that to smooth the lead out just a little bit. Make sure everything stays down tight. Not trying to put too much thread on, but just enough to make everything smooth. We're going to stop about where the bar begins, pretty typical on all flies. For the tail, we use the hairs mask, and we're going to use these guard hairs you see right here, and we're going to cut some of those off, and we're going to use that as our tailing material. So cut a little bit of that off. This mask I've used a lot out of it, and it's starting to get just a little thin. Now one of the things I want you to notice is the very, length of the hairs varies. We're going to pull a couple of the longer ones out, but also there's this fluff up in the front. And we're going to use this in just a second, but you do have to go ahead and pull all that out. So what you're left with is the guard hairs. So we're going to measure for length, get them about where we want them, transfer our finger. I'm going to shorten the thread up just a bit. Kind of a loose wrap, roll it up on top, and tie the excess material down. And you can see we got a basic tail on the back. Additionally, we'll go ahead and tie on the back side. And I could have done this before, I can do it now, it really doesn't matter. My wire for my rib. This is just a fine gold wire that I'm going to use as my ribbing material. Now I'm going to take that fluff you saw me take out a second ago. I'm going to mix that up a little bit and I'm going to use that as a dubbing. Just a real fine dubbing on my thread. We'll see if that's enough. 
And what we're going to do is dub a real, just a nice, simple dubbed body here. Let's take and get that down just a little tighter. We're not trying for too buggy a look back here. We want it a little bit buggy, but we don't want it too buggy. There we go. All right, about, I don't know, two-thirds of the way up the body or thereabouts. At this point, we're going to counter wrap with our gold wire. And it's called a counter wrap because you're wrapping it in the direction opposite of which you wrapped all of your dubbing. This provides a little extra strength so that if you start to get some teeth into it and all, it'll help keep your dubbing and all on. You want it pretty much equal wraps until you get up to the front and tie down. Just several good wraps. And you can cut it, or if you're lucky, you can break it off. And if you can break it off, it makes a much better edge. Okay, so at this point I'm going to tie a piece of turkey in. You can see the turkey here that I'm using. It's just a turkey feather. I've already kind of pre-cut it. We're just going to take it and we're going to wrap that in dull side up and the reason to all side up is you're going to fold it over and that'll put the glossy side up after you've folded it over. So that's in. We go back to where we tie in point and now we're going to add some of the dubbing from the hairs mask that has the guard hairs in it. And you'll see in a little while why we want those guard hairs. But we're going to tie in, dub in a nice buggy body here. At this point we're going to fold over loose wrap keeping the wing case on top. Keep things tight. Clip it off. Take about three wraps. Looks pretty good. At this point, we can go ahead and do a whip finish. Because all we really like now is a lip whip finish, a little bit of head cement, and a little bit of cleanup. And I'll show you what I mean by that. We'll apply just a little bit of head cement here just to keep everything in place. Since this is a fly you're going to fish. Now, one of the things you want to do is make this a buggy fly. And you can take your bodkin or you can take a dubbing picker, whatever you've got, and pick out some of that guard hair that you had there. And you can see kind of look like legs. So you're making something of a buggy fly. If you get one out that's a little too much, just pull him out. But you can see that's a completed gold ribs hairs here. And it's a very buggy looking fly. It's a very effective fly.